Welcome to Taking Care of Business on Current Radio, News Talk 1180 for the best in Saturday Talk Radio at 1 o'clock and again on 1230 KGEO at 10 o'clock on Saturday and also for the best in Wednesday Talk Radio on 1410 KERI, Wednesday at 1 o'clock and now on 1000 KKIM in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Your host is Clay Kerner and I'm Marty Pay and behind the big board is Mr. Greg Held. Hey, Clay, what a great show last week. It's pretty good. Yeah, we had Tobin Smith from uh, Bulls and Bears uh, with, with his uh, great prognostications on what's going to happen to the economy in the next uh, year. Yeah, he talked a little about uh, my favorite subject, Obamacare. Yeah, he actually spent a lot of time talking about Obamacare and he's what it's going to do. He's not excited about it. No, I, I think he's right. It's going to cripple the economy even more. If you read any of the papers, you're going to find out even the county of Kern's looking at spending an additional 6 to $8 million to cover their part-time employees. Just in just in Kern County? Just in Kern County. Yeah, see, it's, it's going to be a disaster. Then in the second half, we had an American legend... Uh, but she's always voted in, in one of the top most influential women of the 20th century, Phyllis Schlafly, and that was a very, very fascinating uh Yeah, I heard it on the radio. It was really good. Yeah, you weren't there. You had to leave. So, <laughs> and then, and then Phyllis, you know, with about five minutes left, decided she was done, and <laughs> so I ended up just winging it for the last five minutes. So we had a great show, but we've got a fun show lined up today with some friends of ours. Some really, really special people here in, in Kern County. In the second half, we have Wendy Porter from the Wounded Heroes F- Fund. And in studio now, we have two friends of the show, Catherine Anspa from Make-A-Wish Central California Foundation and a lo- local giant in the entertainment industry without his hat today. I thought he died. You thought he died? The local giant. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. It's not Buck, huh? Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Rockwell from Trouts. Catherine Rockwell, welcome, welcome to Taking Care good of Good morning, business. guys. Good morning. You can tell Clay's in a good mood today. <laughs> we love Clay. Uh, yes. So before we go into what's going on, because um, you guys have some exciting stuff lined up, uh, tell us a little bit about your organization, Catherine, and what, uh, for those people that may not know about Make-A-Wish. Now, Make-A-Wish Central Valley as opposed to Make-A-Wish Foundation, right? Well, no, it's still part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, okay. but What's uh, the just different chapters. Okay. Uh, so each one services uh, areas and Make-A-Wish Central California, which is basically all the way from Merced to Kern, eight counties that are, that are chapter uh, services and uh, on a very small staff. So um, I'm the Kern County director and uh, happy to do it, but even Kern County is vast. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. I mean, it's an incredible county right. size-wise when oh, you think yeah, about you know, it. I'm going up to Fraser Park and mm-hmm. all over the place. Delano, Cal City. Yeah, yeah, Cal City. Boron. You know, Boron. Trona. I've never been there. You've never been to Trona? No. I don't think we have too many listen- listeners. Button to Willow. So I can oh, insult Button Willow, right? sure. We do all that. Yeah, in Trona, the grass doesn't grow on the football field. I mean, it's that yeah. desolate. Yeah. yeah. There's some desolate places out there. Yeah. I've yeah. been there. Yeah, it's not the but edge of the earth, but you can't see it from there. Yeah. It's but there's the, still kids. There's still, still kids, kids out there. There's sick yep. kids everywhere. Yep, it's and true. they're still, yeah. And we're now, still not reaching all of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as, as big as your organization you know, the biggest is. misconception is that Make-A-Wish is for terminally ill children. Mm-hmm. Only for terminally ill children. Right. And uh, although we do help those children and their families, um, it's for children with life-threatening medical conditions. Mm-hmm. So sometimes we don't always get those referrals because why would you call if it sure. was just terminal? It, we're about giving hope. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, so, therefore, um, we help life-threatening medical conditions, children with life-threatening So, conditions. So, how, I mean, what's the dividing line? I mean, is it, you know, you've got a kid with pneumonia. Is that life-threatening? Yes. If the doctor deems it life-threatening, we always okay. have to get an um, authorization from the doctor. Okay. So, whether the doctor calls in refers or the social worker, we'll still, you know, confirm that. Yeah, and sometimes it, there is a gray area. Mm-hmm. And we'll, we have a medical advisor that's a volunteer on our board that will also come in. So, yeah, mm-hmm. sometimes something like cerebral palsy, for instance, is not a life-threatening medical condition, but there are other complications. Right. And then we bring them in and we, you know, and we discuss that. And so, we try try very hard to get those referrals sure. passed. And it's on an individual basis. It is, yeah, very much. And besides mm-hmm. that, we don't we don't care what your religious background is, your political background, sure. your economic background, it doesn't matter. It's, okay. you know. So economic background doesn't make a difference. Not either. at all, because make a wish is, is not just about <coughs> You know, expensive wishes or something like that. Sure. Um, it's about it's about creating an experience that you can't get anywhere else. Mm-hmm. So Catherine, a couple of questions. Uh, what do you do for the, what, are the, what are they actually do the kids go? Where do they go? How do they select where they're going to go? And who goes with them? 
Mm -hmm. I I wish I went with them. But um, there's four types of wishes. I wish to go, uh, like on a trip. I wish to have a shopping spree or a room makeover. I wish to meet, which is very popular, meet celebrity. Or I wish to be. Uh, which is I wish to be a you know a model for a day or a policeman for a day, which is how Make a Wish started. It was low boy got leukemia mm-hmm. who wanted to be a policeman for a day. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but I wish to go is very popular, especially in the summertime. I wish to go on a Disney cruise. I wish to go to Alaska. I wish, you know, you think about it. And so we have uh, volunteer wish granters that go in the home and and find out what's um, passionate, what the child's passionate about they're really passionate about mickey mouse then yeah we're going to we're going to talk about that but we have a we have a child right now she's going to be going in uh, another month her she helps her mom with her sensi candle business and she helps put all the stickers on the candles and we uh along with the sensi corporation are creating a wish for her we're flying her back to the convention her whole family and they're going to do this amazing uh honor her at this convention and um it's a huge convention and so, you know, we found out what her passion was, and we're, and we're, we're doing that. It's great. Speaking of uh, Mickey Mouse, our guest in studio is Rockwell from Trout's. <laughs> <laughs> it was too easy. Oh. And, Segway. And, there we go. That's a good one. And Catherine Hens buffer make a wish. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. So who are some of the people that the kids have wanted to, uh, to be? You know, I don't get a lot of the bees, but to meet... I can tell you that they just honored John Cena at our National Make-A-Wish convention. He uh, granted his 500th wish. That's how many times he's been involved. What an amazing celebrity. But I've seen everything from, of course, Tom Brady. And uh, we had a boy here locally that met Matt Damon, uh, 50 Cent. We have another boy that was waiting to meet Eminem. But, you know, we have Miley Cyrus, uh, Jonas Brothers, um, Jeff Gordon, you know, are the are the celebrities pretty uh, compliant? Do they? You know, it, join it's kind of a case by case basis. Our national office assists us with that. Thank God, they have people who are connected. That and when those celebrities get those calls, we're lucky because when they hear Make a Wish, you know, they they step up to the plate. Most of the time, they're wonderful. So, whose movies should I not go see? I'm what celebrities are not participating? Oh in? no, no. Uh, they usually, <laughs> they usually all step on, come on board. Depends how long the waiting list is. Clay, you're putting me in, you know, asking some tough questions today. Who should, today. Who should well, I boycott? Right? Well, you're if they don't want to support, Catherine. if they don't want to support Make a Wish, do. I don't want I mean, to support everyone's them. Everyone's great, okay, but so there's, there's waiting lists sometimes, you know. Okay. So, yeah. so we're going to say that on the air, right? Yeah, I don't have. <laughs> don't hold back. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be logged in the government uh, uh, vaults anyway, so... <laughs> I'll make sure if someone's not compliant that we send you to... All right. I mean, yeah. poor Catherine's having a rough day as it is. I mean, I'm looking at are. an audit, and I'm looking at uh, having all my telephone calls <laughs> monitored, so... <laughs> Let's have the show monitored. It's public. Hey, can you believe we've been on the air eight minutes, and Rockwell hasn't said anything yet? That's unusual. I mean, this is rare. We've known, we've known Rockwell for a couple of years, and... <laughs> To have him not say anything is amazing. Go ahead, Rockwell. Say hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Now, Rockwell is here. What, what do you have to do with this Make-A-Wish I just I just came for the comedy show. This is great. I love this. <laughs> I'm just absolutely here to support everything to do with uh, Make a Wish Foundation. Of the Central uh, Central California has just been great. So, just glad to be a supporter in this and uh, participant. And uh, certainly, we can let everybody know that everybody has the ability to support organizations and community organizations like this are certainly ones well deserving for families. Ah, and you are also here because there is going to be a very special event tomorrow on Sunday that you're a part of. That's correct. In fact, if you're our, if you if you're the tenth person to write in an email right now as you hear this show, if it's on Saturday that you're hearing this, mm-hmm. write into the Rockwell Opry at Yahoo.com. If you're the 10th person, you're going to get a family six-pack to the Lori Morgan concert at the Kern County Museum this Sunday, and gates open at 1 o'clock. Is that Bud or Coors? It's going to, we're going to have all of the products there. Okay. Repeat that again. The Rockwell Opry. T-H-E, Rockwell Opry is O-P-R-Y at Yahoo.com. Be the 10th person to email in today, and you're going to get... Let's go to a family 10-pack because we need to bring families together. So invite Fantastic. your neighbors out there. Fantastic. And that's on Sunday? That's at Sunday at the okay. Kern County Museum. And who's going to be there? You're going to love this. We've got local openers, the Blackboard Playboys, Noah Clonch, Mark Madewell, Garrison Kennedy, and we've got Lori Morgan and Jesse Keith Whitley. 
Now, as, as you know, I'm getting married this weekend, but I was told that had we not uh, set this thing up, we would be going to the Lori Morgan concert. So. I would love if you truly love your wife, you will take her to the Lori Morgan concert. Well, yeah. she's not my wife yet, so unfortunately. <laughs> well, first off, he <laughs> thinks he's getting married, but until he gets to the altar, it's still questionable. Until this I get to the beach. Well, we don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> If she gets her glasses before Saturday, I'm, I'm, I'm in deep doo-doo, right? So, um, and this is going to be, I'm sorry, where is the concert going to be? 3801 Chester Avenue at the beautiful Kern County Museum. Oh, okay, yeah. which is just up the street from, yeah. or down the street from <coughs> Trouts. Yeah. Wow, the biggest oh, hockey yeah. talk in Kern County. I'm glad you mentioned yeah. that. It's the yeah. new Trouts, by the way, under the new tr- ownership, new management, and it's uh, we've been there a few times. It's really changed. Yeah, well, now we come back from the break. Let's talk a little bit about trouts, then we'll get, get back into some more activities with Make a Wish. We'll be back in a moment on Taking Care of Business on Current Radio News Talk 1180.